Good morning. No real plan this morning. Just uh, popped over the chase. There's uh, clear skies this morning. We've got a bit of frost on the ground. And uh, yeah, no pressure at all today, to be quite honest. Just uh, have a little walk, see what we can find. I don't think I want to top my last video where it was just image after image after image. But um, we'll certainly see if we can get an image here. Uh, it's a little bit of haze in there, not much, but a little bit. We'll see if we can get a, uh, an image. I'm going to head to a little section of this uh, part of Cant Chase. Um, there's, there's like a ridge line, and I know that there's some quite nice oaks lining that ridge line, so see if we can catch them in that morning light and see if we can get something. Right, let's go. So I've just dropped down into this gorge here uh, because the light is coming in from the top and pushing through all of the trees here. We've got a little bit of haze, a little bit of morning mist. There's some nice warm colour there. Whether there's an image here or not is another question altogether. But uh, I think I might try a few different things and see if we can get something framed up. I'm just going to try and arrange the trees as best I can for the frame. But at the moment I'm kind of looking in this direction here. I'm going to cut out the sky and just have that light coming through the top. I actually have no idea, <laughs> to be honest, but I'm going to get the camera out, point and shoot and see what we can, see what we can create. Okay. So within a few seconds, I've literally plunked the camera down here and I've got a pretty nice shot actually. These first group of trees here, which come up in a V, it's kind of like uh, on the right hand side of my shot. And then as you go through the image, we've got some other, well, these are, these are birch trees. You've got some others in the far distance in the middle. And then in the far, far back, we have some others, which are a lot higher up. The light's coming through. It's a nice warm light. It looks really nice on the back of the camera, actually. I'll just show you a quick video clip of the screen. So this is kind of what I'm looking at. Because it's a video on this camera, the top and the bottom is cut off slightly. But you kind of get the, get the idea here. We've got the, the group of trees on the right. We've got a further group in the middle. And then in the far back, we have some more as well. And we have that really nice light coming in from the top. So this is, this is simple. Plonk the camera down. Get your first shot of the day in the bag then you can almost kind of relax a little bit. Well, not that I wasn't relaxed already, but I think you know what I mean. Get the first shot out of the way, then we'll see what else we can create. I'm actually going to try this in a vertical format as well. I'm not sure it's going to work because the sky is really bright. But anyway, I'll, I'll choose an image uh, of either of the shots and that'll be on the screen now. Hope you, hope you like it. Right, let's find some more. Really, it's quite difficult to shoot this morning. The sun is extremely bright. I'm just trying to find any kind of area where where we're kind of shielded from the from the light. Uh, it does. I mean, it looks beautiful, but it's uh, really difficult to take photos in harsh light. The weather is due to change this afternoon. I'm not sure how early in the day it will, but we've got some high winds and some storms coming in later, I believe, uh, which will bring some clouds. So I'm kind of hoping that mid-morning we might get some 
something different to work with, you know, rather than blue sky and piercing <laughs> morning sunlight. I think, I think we've got the one shot in the bag. I've just spotted something else actually, just over here. Uh, got one shot, I think. Although the top half of the image, if I remember, I haven't seen it on the computer, obviously. It just looked maybe, maybe a touch blown out. I did take a few different exposures just to make sure. That's always difficult, always difficult. Right, let me see if I can find something else away from that sky. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so um, I've stopped at a, a shot that I, I have taken before. And uh, I think one of the reasons why is because I'm quite, I am struggling this morning. It's, it's, um, it's not ideal conditions, in all honesty, but um, I think in situations such as this, it, it's almost like a comfort to revisit an old scene, just to kind of get your, your head framed back into that moment. This scene that you can see, is a scene that I've always loved uh, in all the seasons, in autumn specifically, but I've not really shot it in winter, to be honest. And I suppose we could class this as winter. We have no leaves whatsoever left on the trees. But this tree here, um, a lot of people have kind of suggested it looks like a wizard almost with a, with a wand, but it's a certainly an interesting tree for sure. And the way the branches are all curling around and everything, it's, it's, um, it creates quite a nice image. I'm trying a few different things, things that I haven't tried before. I'm trying to do a, a panorama at the moment, so vertical shots all the way across, but I'm also shooting the, the original shot that I've taken. I haven't shot this scene with my new camera yet, so that'll be quite interesting to edit and look at the images on that. So I expect there'll be much more detail than my previous camera. But all in all, it's a pretty, it's a pretty okay image, I think. Right, I'll put the image on the screen. Hope you guys like it. And uh, we will see if we can get another one. That's uh, shot number two, is it? Not bad considering. <laughs> So, a quick update on the printer situation. In my last video, I mentioned that I would be doing some editing videos and also some kind of out in the field, take the shot, edit the shot, and then print the shot with my new printer, which is due to arrive in January. Well, we are now, well, it is still January, but only just, and no printer to be seen yet. No, uh, I think it's something to do with the micro trip shortage uh, globally. So hopefully in February, we should be receiving the printer and we can really delve into some, some detail with some images and look at the prints and the different papers and things like that. And also my online store will be reopened. So I'll have my own prints to, to ship out to people. So keep an eye out on that. Apologies for the delay, uh, but we should be up and running soon. Right, so you've just seen image two. I haven't seen it yet, <laughs> but I hope you like it. We're gonna walk around the ridgeway here and see if we can find perhaps one more shot. The sun is climbing rapidly. The higher it gets, the more difficult it is to shoot, unless we get some cloud rolling in which I can't see anything on the horizon at the moment. Right, let's pack up, let's get moving, see if we can find another shot. Ah. 
Do you ever just arrive at a spot and just think there has to be a shot here? Well, that's how I'm feeling right now. You guys are watching this from a wide angle view, but in the far distance, right on the other ridge line, we've got all of these silver birch trees catching all of the morning light. And it's really nice because on the right hand side of it, where the sun quite hasn't reached that section, there's a really nice dark shadow and some really great separation between light and dark. And in addition to that, on the lower part of the other ridgeway, in the shadow, we've got some bluey kind of tones where there's some morning frost as well. Obviously that's not present at the top. It just really looks quite nice. Whether that translates to a photograph, I'm not sure. In fact, I'm gonna say it now, I don't think it would work. But this big oak tree here is quite nice. This kind of acts as a, as a, uh, as a scale type thing in the image. It kind of shows you how far away in the distance the other ridge line is. So I'm gonna get the camera out. And we can see if we can see if it will work. I've just stopped on the ridge line and we've got some really nice morning light hitting over on the other ridge line here uh, where there's some silver birch trees which are just glowing in that morning light. Uh, I'm trying to find anything that would work to figure out an image here. The problem that I'm having is the position where I'm at is uh, a conservation type area so they're growing new trees as you can see in front of me and they are unfortunately in the way of my shot it's really difficult because we've got a really tight narrow frame looking over at the ridge line in the back and it's just a bit of a pity but let me just show you a quick video clip of the screen just so that you know what i'm referring to here so you should be able to see a video around here somewhere. So as you can see in the back, right at the top of the image, we've got all of those silver birch trees which are kind of glowing in that morning light. We've got the different layers of, um, so we've got the bottom with the shadow and the frost in the bottom. We've also got two trees just around about, where is it? Around about there which kind of anchor the image, I, I think. So at the moment, I'm just trying to avoid these things. <laughs> this is really, really difficult because there's, there's two in the front of the image, which if they were not there, the image would be so much better. But hey-ho, it is what it is. So yeah, that's, that's kind of what I'm looking at. And you know, there's some really nice shadow and textures there. And I'm sure there's an image dying to come out of this scene. I just don't know whether I've captured it or not, but I've tried all, all different types of things. I've tried shooting in a, in a landscape format. I've tried all the, zoomed all the way in. That doesn't really work. Um, I've tried vertical panos, so a number of shots. I can st stitch them together and see what happens, but I just feel as though it's just too complicated at the edges and these, oak trees which have been planted are really causing a problem in the scene. Interesting. Oh, these things you come up against sometimes, you just got to work it out. But um, we can always come back. I'll remember this scene for next time and see if we can figure something else out. Maybe we can try over on the left hand side or on the right. We are going to go over onto the right hand side here because I really like this little path just down here. So. I'm going to check out down there, see if there's any, any images. Anyway, hopefully, I've, hopefully when I get back to the office, I've managed to capture something that I'm reasonably happy with. And if I did, it'll be on the screen now. In fact, I'll probably just post it, even if it's not that good, just to show you the image. Okay, let's move along and see if we can get just one more, so that's that's three images today. So that's, that's not bad going considering it's pretty oh, below average conditions. Yeah. Right, let's carry on.
wow, absolutely stunning. I wasn't expecting this. Oh yeah, good stuff. As you probably have already spotted, this guy's pretty impressive as well. It's turned out to be not a bad morning. Right, let's, uh, let's see if we can get a shot of this guy first. This is actually proving to be quite challenging. I've changed lens. Um, the lens I pretty much always use at the moment since getting this new camera is the, well, it's like a 70 to 200 equivalent. It's a great lens. It's what I use 95% of the time, but because this scene is a little bit more demanding, I've put on the wider angle lens, which is, sorry, bear with me. It's the 32 to 64, which is a bit of an odd range, but uh, it's essentially a wide angle lens for this camera, which I don't use that much, but it works really nice in this situation. And this one goes down to F4 as well. So that will create even more separation between the tree and the background. So we've got some quite nice light coming on the ferns here. I mean, it's not soft light, but it's still light. Can't complain too much. And I'm shooting at F4, my shutter speed's uh, 200, ISO 100, and I'm shooting in a landscape format, and I'm doing a landscape panorama. So because this lens is quite wide, it's getting some of the sky, which I don't want. So I'm gonna have like a, a letterbox type image of this tree, smack bang in the middle. Pretty straightforward and simple stuff. That's what I've decided on. So let me just show you a quick video clip of my screen. Okay, so you should be able to see. So we've got this tree, which is lovely. Um, we've got the background, which has got some really nice frosty, light on the canopy in the back. We've got the foreground light as well. And if we just pan across, it's a really nice little scene. So just, yeah, like a letterbox type image. And uh, I mean, if we zoom out here, you can see what I mean about the sky. It just kind of, I don't think kind of ruins it, to be honest. So I won't be including it, I don't think. But yeah, image. We'll be up on the screen now, I hope you like it. I think, that's, uh, I think that's the end of the video, guys. I think it's the end of the conditions. The sun is quite high now. We've got a few good images, I think. I hope you guys enjoyed following along and watching what I chose to shoot. Uh, please let me know in the comments which of the, how many was it, four? Which of the four images was your favorite? And uh, please give the video a thumbs up if you enjoy the content. And if you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. Right, next time I should have a printer and then we can start to look at images in detail on paper, uh, which is something that I'm really excited about. So. Right, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.